baked brie with a cranberry chutney and toasted almonds. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna start with a little chutney. In here, I have a cup of dried cranberries. You could use other dried fruit, but I really I like cranberries or dried cherries the most. And I've just cooked down a cup of cherries with a cup of white wine. I'm talking whatever's left over from the night before door of the fridge type of white wine. Okay. Cook it all the way down, and that plumps the, the dried fruit. You know, it hydrates them, mm -hmm. right? They've had their, their margarita, too. <laughs> so to that, I've just diced up, peeled and diced one pear, and I'm going to just add that in. You've been talking about those pears. You're bringing them in. You love I'm, the pears. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make eye contact with an apple this season. Wow. Okay? I'm all about the pear Bold. love. Just mm -hmm. cooking that pear a little bit to soften it. Now to that, I, I know you don't add butter to chutney, so I don't know why you would, but I'm going to add a tablespoon of Cause butter. Cause thighs, cause thighs. Cause, That's why. Cause, cause we thighs. need it. A little cayenne, just half a teaspoon, just a little touch. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. You need a little bit of that. And you know me, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. So we're just cooking that down. You can kind of just let this hang out. I have a batch here that I cooked a little bit longer. You could kind of make it more raw and fresh or more cooked, depending on what you want. Now, to that, I'm going to add some fresh parsley Ooh. and a tablespoon of diced pickles and a tablespoon of diced pickle juice. And that's because we're going to put this on a giant wheel of brie. This is a one kilo wheel of brie, mm -hmm. and it's eight inches in diameter. Do you know what I'm saying, people? That's right. We mean business. Yeah, we're not. This is a Friendsgiving. Yeah. If you're really with your friends, right? Friends don't let friends eat tiny wheels of cheese. I think that this format is that. Oh, she cutting the rind off. Do it. Exactly. Alex, I was, I was wondering. I like the big format. Brie, I think it's better. Do you guys always cut your rind off of the brie or no? If I'm baking it, you got to have that have a little point bit of, of entry. Mm. Sometimes well, I'll just do like a, a hash in the, real, yeah. in the center and peel back when you're done. That's kind of sexy too, you know what I mean? Look at that. Yeah, you want to open this up so, I mean, I'm kind of thinking, you know, like a queso dip, you know, something really kind of big format. I'm going to put this in here, tiniest pinch of salt. Oh. And I'm going to just toast the almonds at the same time. Whoa. Right? Why not get it all done at the same time? This is going to go in the oven at 400 degrees. I, I like the idea of toasting the nuts and having a built-in timer. I have burned more trays of nuts, but this is just almonds with the skin on for a little bit of that taste. This is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees, about 12 minutes, and then here we go. Of course, I just happen to have one casually bubbling away. And I mean, can we get a little aromatherapy going? Oh, girl. Uh, bro. Wow. Well, I'm, I am absolutely right for there. anything and take a little iron, nose bath. Stay like that, that stays warm for more than five minutes. But yep. look at the yeah. top. I mean, it almost looks like a pizza. I like the side. Oh. Put out some bread, put out some crackers. You could just put out crudite with this. It's oh, there. look at wow. that. Wow. Look at that. Look like, ah, ah. Oh, it's a little <laughs> wow. hot. Be careful. Don't burn the top of your mouth, Sunny. Come on, go, go, go in there. It's kind of like a pizza you're yeah. supposed to, right? Yeah. Like, and using a plate. Oh. oh my God, I love it. Mm. Oh, All the yeah. cheese. Who needs turkey? We already know about the brie. You know what I'm saying? It comes through, it's creamy. It's kind of like, you know, it'll accept any flavor on top of it, right? 